so they were allowed to live. And in that museum, you'll see some really rare photographs and stuff. So that's that's well worth it. Howdy. How you doing? Mr. Rama. Show water and Doc Holiday. As well as I think one of my favorite quotes any Techno 35 with a microwave oven, plugging that in and baking a potato. That, to your grandparent, that would have to be magic. How's that possible? He's got a gun. Yeah. I'll be taking one of his popcorn tune song here. Some jam songs. Some sunglasses. And some postcards, of course. Lots of hats. Okay, Corral. Uh, sauce. Okay, Corral. Mexican sauce. That's okay, Corral stuff. It's all the same Bucks. It's kind of cool that they got lots of bucks. It's one thing I've noticed on this truck. Lots of good bucks for sale. Oh. Child in the blanket. I lied. They do have white herb and tombstone. And I'll. Gunfight the OK Corral. And my darling Clementine. Oh, Russell Crowe made it. 310 to Uma. And more Tombstone. And John Wayne and the Searchers. Of course, Fort Apache, the Cowboys, real. Got Blu ray too, of course. Got a Blu ray. Ladder. Ladder. I guess there's the theater over there. That was the gate on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the OK Corral. The West's most famous gunfight began where you are now standing. As you look around, you can see the gunfighters, just as they stood on October 26th, 1881. The four cowboys have gathered here in this narrow, vacant lot behind the OK Corral. Their best gunman, Frank McLowry, stands with his brother, Tom. Ike Clanton, uh -huh. leader of the powerful Clanton gang, is accompanied by his kid brother Billy. They hope to confront Doc Holliday, who lives nearby in Fly's boarding house. For the next few seconds, nearly 30 shots will be fired. Both McLowry brothers and 19-year-old Billy Clanton will be killed. Virgil and Morgan Earp will fall badly wounded. This bloody gunfight at the OK Corral was the climax of a bitter and often lawless struggle for political and economic control of Tombstone's riches, together under the leadership of the Clanton family. Many blamed the cowboys for every stage robbery and stolen cow in the territory. But Johnny Bean, sheriff of Cochise County, gave them legal protection. And the Tombstone Nugget newspaper, published by one of Bean's deputies, heavily armed cowboy Ike Clanton, wandered the streets of Tombstone, threatening to kill the Earps or Doc on sight. Virgil Earp arrested Ike for illegally carrying a gun in town, buffaloed him, and dragged him to court. The cowboys, now fighting mad, gathered behind the OK Corral. The Earps headed for the corral. Doc Holliday joined them. Sheriff Bean tried to stop them, claiming he had disarmed the cowboys, but they walked on into this vacant lot where you see them standing now. Suddenly, Wyatt cries out. You cowboys have been looking for a fight. Now you can have it. Boys, throw up your hands. I want your gun. Don't shoot me. I don't want to fight. I haven't got anything. Oh, I don't mean that. I've got to disarm you. <laughs> Frank McLowry, dead. Tom McLowry, dead. 
19-year-old Billy Clanton, dead. Morgan Earp, severe shoulder wound. Virgil Earp, shot in the leg. Doc Holliday, slight hip wound. Wyatt Earp, unhurt. <laughs> Wyatt Earp, unhurt. 